The Middle Ages was a dark time in European history. Those dark times were followed by a period of enlightenment. This era of enlightenment is called the Renaissance. Literally meaning rebirth, the Renaissance was a surge of interest in classical learning and values that started in Italy and spread out towards the rest of Europe. Many wondered why the Renaissance began so long after the birth of Christ and Christianity, and many will say, the spirit of the Lord was with them, living but unrecognized, the spirit of freedom which ere long was destined to restore its birthright to the world. The Middle Ages, also known as the Dark Ages, took away the faith of the European people. The Renaissance restored that faith. Francesco Petrarch is credited for the start of the Renaissance. He is often called the father of humanism or the father of Renaissance. His rediscovery of forgotten Latin manuscripts like the letters of Roman politician Cicero and his humanist emphasis on using pure classical Latin are known to lead to the initiation of the Renaissance that will forever change the course of history. Humanism is the intellectual movement of the Renaissance based on the study of the humanities, which included grammar, poetry, moral, philosophy, and history. Humanism played an important part in the Italian Renaissance. The three supreme masters of Italian Renaissance painting were Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, the best of beloved artists whose Madonnas are counted among the world's treasures, and Michelangelo, whose best paintings are his wonderful frescoes. Leonardo da Vinci, who is one of the most famous Italian Renaissance painters, was a true child of the Renaissance. He was at once a painter, sculptor, architect, poet, musician, and scientist. However, he is most known for his paintings, which some, like the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, has dried controversy. Do the eyes of the Mona Lisa actually follow you when you stare at them? Is the knife in the painting of the Last Supper meant for Mary? And if so, did da Vinci have some secret knowledge about this important event? Michelangelo, like da Vinci, was also a sculptor and artist. Besides his amazing frescoes, he is also known for his sculpture of David. Raphael, another famous Renaissance painter, was known for his Madonnas, or paintings of the Virgin Mary. Sistine Madonna and La Belle Jardinière are just two of his many works. In La Belle Jardinière, Raphael shows the Virgin Mary interacting with her son, Jesus, and his cousin, John the Baptist. With the Renaissance, the architectural style of French Gothic from the Middle Ages ceased to an end. A new style came about. Donato Bramante is acknowledged today as the founder of the Rena High Renaissance architectural style. The High Renaissance architectural style included symmetry and proportion, strategically placed columns, and hemispherical domes. Renaissance architects meant for their building structures to be like those of the Greek and believed in capturing beauty and perfection. Buildings built in the Renaissance were very different from the Gothic buildings of the Middle Ages, which were composed of huge stained glass windows and high ceilings. Donato Bramante built several cathedrals like the Santa Maria Presso San Satiro and the St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican. In the Renaissance, science and math were closely linked together. One was almost impossible without the other, it seemed, and science, as it looked, always opposed the scriptures of the Bible. Galileo Galilei was a well-known Italian scientist and mathematician who mainly studied astronomy or the study of space and its heavenly bodies. His contributions to observational astronomy include the telescopic confirmation of the phases of Venus, the discovery of the four largest satellites of Jupiter, named the Galilean moons in his honor, and the observation and analysis of sunspots. Galileo also invented an improved military compass and other instruments such as the thermoscope. The thermoscope is an instrument that shows changes in temperature like a thermometer. Galileo's discoveries and advancements in science and math threatened the Catholic Church, and he was accused of heresy because his findings were foolish and absurd in philosophy and formally heretical since it explicitly 
contradicts in many places the sense of the Holy Scripture. Galileo was forced to recant and spent the rest of his days under house arrest. The Renaissance changed society's viewpoints on values and education. More people became eager to learn and fields of studies were created. Instead of the polymaths of ancient Greece and the Middle East, we started to break science into disciplines and medicine, astronomy, natural science, physics, and many other fields took on forms that are recognizable today. Renaissance architects incorporated science and math into their work and often used squares to plan, which is still in use today as blueprints. They used math and science to capture the perfection of the building, just like the Renaissance artists and architects. What was expected of different social classes also changed. Nobles were expected to dominate social and political life by fulfilling ideals of the Renaissance. Nobles were also expected to be highly intellectual and positively influential on society, just like today with our leaders. Marriages were arranged to strengthen business or family ties, which still happens in some parts of the world today. Serfdom no longer existed and mother wives were expected to care for their children.